Ooh. <laughs> well, there goes another one. Better get more. Hey there, it's Theo from Geeky Gamer Guy. This video I'll be previewing the Big Man expansion for vinyl from Talon Strike Studios. Notes! This video shows the base game with the prototype components from the expansion and is subject to change. Let's get spinning! Big Band is the newest addition to the record collecting game Vinyl for 2 to 5 players. Players will be collecting records in hopes of having the best collection by game's end. The setup of the game is very similar to the base game, but with a few key additions. After placing the board in the center of the table, add the leaderboard next to it with the 8 band leader tokens beside it. Place the two new record band overlays over the record bin area. Shuffle the album cards and deal one card to each of the 16 spaces of the record bin. Then deal two cards to the bottom left side of the main board to become the display window. Then adjust the positions of the band leaders shown on the two cards using the corresponding tokens on the leader board. Move the band leader token one space for bass, two for saxophone, three for trombone, and four for trumpet. Place the remaining album cards in a draw pile or in the crate. Place the front counter overlay over the one printed on the board. Take the three stacks of collection reward tokens and arrange them by their values from highest on top to lowest on bottom. Then place each of them in the collection reward area. Shuffle the magazine cards and deal 5 cards to the first player and 7 cards to the last player, while everyone else in between gets 6 cards. Randomly choose a first player and give them the first player token. The token won't move during the game but will ensure all players get the same number of turns. We're ready to begin! Vinyl is played over several rounds. On a player's turn they will perform 3 steps. Move, Action, and Maintenance. During the move step, the player will move their meeple to a different location on the board. If a player is already on that location space, the active player bumps that meeple to the bump action space. During the action step, the player performs the action of the location their meeple is in. If at the magazine rack, they draw two knowledge cards if they are in 78 speed, or three if they are in 33. More on speed in a sec. Players can draw any number of face-up cards or from the top of the deck. If they draw a face-up card, the space is immediately filled in by a new card. If drawing a face-up wild card, that is their only card drawn. Unless they're in 33 speed, then they get one more non-wild card. After taking the action, the bump player gets to take the bump action. In this case, at the magazine rack location, they draw a card from the face-down draw pile. At the record bend, the player uses their knowledge cards to acquire an album card. They must discard knowledge cards matching the symbols shown on the album card. Then check for speed. If this is the first album selected, move the marker over the speed of the album acquired for free. They now gain the benefits of that speed. 78 speed albums are worth one more point, and 33 speed allows one more card draw at the magazine rack. If the player is already on a different speed, they must discard an additional matching attribute to take the selected album. Then the player changes their speed accordingly. The bump action allows the bump player to take a non-wild knowledge card from the ones used to acquire the active player's newly acquired album. Discard the remaining cards. The active player places the album cards together by genre in two rows. Swing albums on top and jazz on bottom, being sure to stack them so that the left side of each card shows. At the front counter, the active player retires a set of four albums from one of their two rows of genres. Each set must have four instruments in them. Then they acquire a collection reward based on any matches to speed and or band leader, or not at all, taking the top token in the respective stack. Orange for no matches, blue for one match, and red for all matches. Then from the album cards used, the player can gain a benefit from the position of one of the band leaders on the leaderboard. Things like taking an album for free or at a discount, to getting a free speed change. Oh? Lastly, during the maintenance step, if there are three empty spaces in the record bin, fill them in with the two albums from the display window and draw the last one from the album deck. Then place two new albums into the window display and adjust the band leaders on the leaderboard accordingly. The end of the game triggers when the last album cards are placed in the record bin. Finish the current round. Then all players get one final turn. After that, each player adds up the points from each of their active and retired albums, gaining two points for each album of the band leader in first place and one point for the one in second. Then score collection reward tokens. The player with the most points wins. In the case of a tie, the tiebreaker is in this order. The player with the least amount of albums, the most reward tokens, then the most knowledge cards left in hand. Some features here include an accessible game with intuitive iconography to help players remember what locations do. And because of that, turns will keep moving as quick as the jitterbug. All while being immersed in the theme because of the cool table presence. There's also 2-3 player rules that tighten up the pressure to grab albums quickly. Plus, 
If you need more vinyl, there's plenty of other additions to change things up. This game is for players that enjoy set collecting and light interaction. Plus, music lovers will enjoy figuring out the punny names of the band leaders to the ones from real life. So to get into the swing of things, throw on some tunes and try to snag the best albums before they're all sold out. I put a link to the Kickstarter for y'all to check out in the comments below. That's it! Thanks for watching! Don't forget to like and subscribe, plus hit the bell to not miss out on future videos. Until next time, stay geeky, keep gaming! Final is played over several rounds. On a player's turn, they will move three steps. Mm-hmm.